The world has been busy celebrating the birth of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's first child, Archie Harrison. It's an exciting event for the royal family, though some fans are already thinking ahead about the future and wondering whether the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would like to have another baby. Given the fact that Harry's older brother, Prince William, has three kids of his own, it makes sense that Harry might want more kids. When can we expect to see another pregnancy announcement from Meghan? Is this even what Meghan and Harry want? Do Meghan Markle and Prince Harry want more kids? Things are looking good for royal fans who want to see Meghan and Harry's family get bigger. Although the couple has not explicitly stated they want more children, there have been hints. A few months ago, Harry met a gentleman named Simon Weston at an event. Weston, a Falklands veteran, later talked about his conversation with the Duke of Sussex. We also joked about Wales defeating England in the Six Nations rugby, Weston said. I also warned him and the Duchess it serves him right as they will be getting plenty of sleepless nights when the baby is born. He said if they have any more than two it will serve him right. Recently, a source also confirmed to people that Meghan and Harry have talked about having another baby, they definitely want to. Meghan has talked about having one more. Meghan Markle needs to wait at least a year before having another child. Unlike some women who can conceive again soon after giving birth, experts have advised Meghan to wait at least a year before getting pregnant the second time, so it will be a while before we hear of another pregnancy announcement from the Duchess of Sussex. Since Meghan is 37 years old, she is considered a geriatric mother a medical term used to describe pregnant women who are over 35. According to Julie Jomine, a professor of midwifery at the University of Hull, women of Meghan's age who conceive six months within their last pregnancy are at a higher risk for maternal mortality. As such, it is recommended they give it some time and work out a plan with their doctor. Jomine also pointed out, the issue is of course that older moms are more likely to plan to have babies closer together as they don't have the same luxury of time in terms of their fertility, as women still in her 20s would have. However, the general health of the mom is an important factor here in risk. Ultimately, it has to be a woman's choice, what is important is that they are aware of the evidence around birth spacing and that they make their choice based on good evidence-based information. Meghan Markle also has other options to grow her family. Of course, if getting pregnant is a bit risky, Meghan can branch out and expand her family in other ways, namely via adoption or surrogacy. A few months ago there were rumors that Meghan and Harry were adopting a child from Botswana, but those ended up being rather unfounded. Still, considering the fact that the royal couple is known to break all sorts of royal traditions, it's likely they have not completely pulled adoption off the table. Surrogacy is another great choice for someone like Meghan. It's not something many royals have done, but celebrities like Kim Kardashian, who is around Meghan's age, has been open about using surrogates for their growing family because of health issues and helping to remove the stigma surrounding it. However, since Archie Harrison is not even a month old at this time, it's a bit too soon to tell what Meghan and Harry are planning on doing to have more children in the future. We will all just have to wait and see.